Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, I'm Mike Hanley with Cars.com. Compact car buyers have a new model to consider with the debut of the 2013 Hyundai Elantra Coupe. It's a two-door version of Hyundai's popular Elantra sedan, and it offers a number of premium features and more comfort and versatility than you might expect. The coupe takes a lot of design cues from the Elantra sedan, and they translate pretty well to the two-door body style, but there are some subtle differences, and they're mainly up front. You can see them with these more angular fog lights and this blacked-out front bumper that gives it a bit of an Audi-esque nose. Around back, you can see an integrated lip spoiler on the trunk lid. Compact cars used to really be focused on basic transportation, but that's changing and it shows in models like this Elantra Coupe, which is available with a number of optional premium features, including a touchscreen navigation system that has really nice graphics and includes a backup camera, which is nice to have even on a small car like this. Then there's also available dual zone automatic climate control and push button start. One of the nice things we discovered about the Elantra Coupe is how accommodating its back seat is for taller adult passengers. When you look at it from the outside, it has that really sleek roof line, but inside, legroom is good, headroom is good. I'm about six feet tall, and I'm pretty comfortable back here. It really doesn't give up much in terms of backseat comfort to the Elantra sedan, though it is a little harder, obviously, to get back in here with just two doors. The other thing you don't sacrifice with the Elantra Coupe is trunk space. It has nearly 15 cubic feet, and that's the same amount you get with an Elantra sedan. There's also a 60-40 split folding back seat, so when you pull on one of the levers back here to release the seats, you get a really wide opening into the passenger area for carrying bulky items. The Elantra Coupe debuts as a number of competitors from Chevrolet and Ford have dropped their two-door models in favor of just sedans or hatchbacks. I like that Hyundai hasn't forgotten about the Coupe buyer with this car, but I'm even more impressed with how little it sacrifices in terms of utility. For more car-related news, go to cars.com or our blog, kickingtires.net.